Good day. Since we spoke, the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, addressed us on Women's Day, and he said, and I quote, we have declared 2021 the year of Charlotte Maglege, a courageous women's rights activist and also a leader who was born 150 years ago. We celebrate this year of her birth because we want to encourage the women of this country to follow her footsteps and her example. Women have always been instrumental in the advancement of the human cause. They have played a crucial role in the struggle for freedom, justice, and equality. And yet it is the women who always bear the brand of inequality, discrimination, marginalization, and poverty and violence. Close code. That is a very high expectation standard and even a heavier responsibility for the women of our generation to carry. Freedom, justice, marginalization, poverty, violence, inequality are unfortunately systemic and structural in their nature. Case in point, the Gauteng province reported about 23K teenage pregnancy numbers between April 2020 and March 2021. 80% of these girls were 10 to 14 years old. And these stats are of course not uncommon, however, the high prevalence between the 10 and 14 year olds are alarming. Now we can attribute systems such as the lockdown. We can attribute the sporadic opening of schools and acknowledge the school as the protective measure for women in the society. The women of this country are of course appreciative of the efforts of the presidency in implementing the GBV NSP. However, social ills impacting women are going to need a more scale program, a more large and more inclusive multi-sectoral and collective program than the current offering. How can we realize gender equality in our generation? What are you doing in your own family? What are you doing in your own friendship cycles? church groups, small groups, organizations to advance gender equality. Collective realization of gender equality is of course the goal. However, the objectives and building blocks may require all of us to contribute to transforming systemic societal relational barriers to gender equality. I leave you with the words of the world-renowned pioneer, the late Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela, open quote, he said, I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and a free society in which all persons live together in harmony and in equal opportunities. It is an, ide it is an ideal for which I hope to live for and to achieve, but if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. May we realize, may we see equality, gender equality in our lifetime. May our children, our children's children, their children enjoy a democratic and a free society that is harmonious and equal. So long may we contribute individually each and every day in whatever circles we find ourselves in. May we start conversations around gender inequality, around generational inequality, around inequality. I am Khatli Somangwali. I am the Adolescent Girls and Young Women Program Specialist signing out. And thank you for being part of the Nakosa Women's Month campaign.